everyone and welcome to my messy craft room. Although I think um, the fact that it's messy though means that I'm really accomplishing things for some reason. So, <laughs> so I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been working on. Um, I've been really trying to finish up my journal. This is my romantic journal that I've talked about for a long time now. Um, my goal is to get it done by the end of this week. So um, if you're watching this, today is Thursday. So hopefully by the weekend, this is going to be ready to go in my Etsy shop. I'm going to do a flip through uh, video so that you'll get to see what's inside. And then um, it'll be up on my my Etsy shop and ready to go. So um, follow me over on my Etsy shop because that way you can always get updates. Um, I will also put updates on Instagram as well so that you can kind of see um, kind of the build up to when it's going to be released. So, um, you can follow me over there. Um, it's blue, blue scallop creation, blue scallop creations shop is my, um, Instagram for my journaling and, and Etsy shop. So you can see everything over there. But, um, in the meantime, I thought I would just kind of show you where I am right now in the process. Actually, what, what was, uh, having me make this video was I just got in the mail today. I want to just show really quick my, uh, copy of, uh, the this is the Encyclopedia of Ephemera, and this book I actually saw on it was shown by Kathy Holden on Instagram, and Kathy is she does a lot of fabrics, um, really beautiful fabrics. But then she also had a vintage ephemera collection over at Spellbinders and some other um, online uh, scrapbooking shops, and I've purchased a few of her. Um, collections and I really like them and she had shown this on her Instagram and I was excited to get a copy of it and it's actually brought um it's I guess sponsored I don't know if you'd say sponsored but it's brought brought to us by Uppercase Magazine which Uppercase Magazine is it's a Canadian publication for um, people that are interested in art and it's actually I've never heard of it before and so I actually um subscribe to it. It's a quarterly magazine and I haven't had a chance, chance to read my copy yet because it's like it's kind of like those Stampington magazines. They're they're almost like a book in itself. Um, there's just a lot to read, a lot of interesting articles. So I've I've started it, but um, I haven't even finished my um, current uh, copy yet. So um, I'm really enjoying it, but just it's for creative people, just kind of something different. Um, there aren't really a lot of magazines anymore. Um, for, for artists, um, there used to be, well, at least paper crafting artists, there used to be a ton of magazines, um, like in the scrapbooking realm and things like that. But it seems that they, they've kind of all gone away or gone online. And so I'm really trying to find, I, I like to have a paper copy of something um, to sit and read. So, um, but through the magazine, um, they have this whole um, ins inspiration series. So they have um, inspiration for, um, I think, handmade paper and different other types of art and I think ceramics and things like that and this one is for ephemera so I, it's a huge book and I'm really excited that it's coming before the weekend because I can um, spend some time this weekend um, just flipping through it and it's kind of one of those books that you just keep on your bookshelf um, to look at all the time because you can never get bored of it because there's always something to look at I'll show you really quick just some real flip, flip through it's just all kinds of fun um articles about ephemera and, and lots of color pictures. So I think um, this is going to be really fun to read, but I was excited to get this. And when it came in the mail, I was thinking I should probably do a video to kind of give an update of what I've been working on. So um, let me put this aside. So in my regular life, I'm usually not this disorganized. And this actually looks disorganized, but it's kind of an organized mess. Um, when I work on my junk journals, I, I have so many different supplies I want to use. I just kind of have been putting them all over the place. I, I used to try to kind of keep them um, in little containers and things kind of um, organized that way. But sometimes I find that when I kind of spread everything out and can kind of just grab little things here and there and kind of spread things out and kind of see what I have. Um, I've been I've been enjoying that a little bit better. So um, I'm in the process right now of basically putting the finishing touches on my journal. I don't want to show it right now, but I'll just kind of show you the outside. Um, the, it's four signatures. It's nice and thick. It's got a romantic style to it. Lots of pinks and blues, a little bit of um, the, the kind of retro look I like, but a lot more kind of French style romantic um, 
perfume bottles, um, different things like that, sort of a, a, a cottage style look, I guess you could say. Um, and I've just been really having a good time working on it. So once I got the main part of the, the book put together with the signatures and everything, I go back and I kind of uh, pull all kinds of things I think might work in the the book as far as ephemera is concerned and then I just start adding things adding little bits of trim um, right now this little piece of trim is I just glued it down so it's kind of drying right now and I'm going to trim it off in a minute uh, but I'm just kind of adding all sorts of bits and pieces to it I've got some cards over here I just pulled out that um, I wanted to put some sort of a playing card in here but I didn't want it to be too kind of kitschy looking. I want it to be more kind of romantic and soft looking. So I actually found this little playing card I got, I think in some, some ephemera pack. And I thought this would look really nice in the book. So I'm going to um, find a spot for that, probably a little pocket or something. And then I had this little piece of uh, wrapping paper that I thought was really pretty. So I may uh, adhere it to the front of maybe an index card or a larger card so that it can be used as a journaling piece. Um, and then I have this, I got on, I think it was eBay, I got a big stack of library card catalog cards. And this particular one, they're all different titles. And um, this particular one, I just thought would go really well with the book. Um, this book, My Closet Full of Hats. So um, I'm trying to think if I should do maybe like a, like a little collage on the back of it. I'm still kind of trying to, to figure that one out. But um, again, I might just pop it in the book and have it just be a little journaling piece. Um, and then you can see I've got all kinds of other stuff on here too. Um, I use, I'm, for this book, I'm using vintage things as well as kind of some uh, modern current things that I have in my collection. Lots of tapeology items, uh, Vivi stationery. I've got this over here. Let me pan out a little bit. This is my, my sink. <laughs> my sink counter and I've got um this is a basket of all of my tapeology and Vivi stationery things these are those um I actually just did a video I think an unboxing of so, a bunch of different things but I think uh Vivi stationery and tapeology were one of the the products that I unboxed but I was finding so many uses for all of the products I got so I put a lot of those in my my journal as well um I have oh this is my <laughs> I had made some uh, ephemera pieces a long time ago, and I had attached them to this um, this little Heidi Swap uh, Rolodex thing. Yeah, that's what it was called. <laughs> um, so I have these little pieces of uh, cluster ephemera, and I had, I'm actually using a piece in the journal, but I was just kind of going through these and, and trying to figure out um, how I wanted to use them. Um, I just, I like them because they're the colors, and then I usually put these on top of a pocket or something just to kind of give it more dimension so so I was working on those um, this was a vintage fan that I found it at a uh, estate sale and I was thinking this would look good in the journal like actually taking apart the fan so the little piece here because I love the um, the little uh, etched designs in here but it ended up not really coordinating that well because the fan is so old it's kind of a little bit of yellowing to it so I think it might work better in a journal that's a little more antique looking so I'm going to save this because I really like this detail here but um, that's an idea if if any of you have old fans I don't know I, I almost didn't get this it was like 50 cents or something like that and I thought it's 50 cents I, I feel I really liked it and I was drawn to it so I thought I'm going to find a use for this and I'm glad I picked it up and I, I might replace, um, I think this is a vacation in China, it looks like. Um, so some of the little stickers are coming off, so I may replace them with some different stickers. But again, I just really like this kind of uh, design here that I thought would be pretty to maybe put on the edge of a page or even take a few of them, and kind of decorate a page and let it fan out or something. I don't know. I was just kind of um, thinking that might be a fun idea. So I was messing around with that, but I didn't end up using it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I also have, this is an, my, one of my, an older journal. This is actually still available in my Etsy shop. Uh, this is kind of a more brightly colored journal. But what I like to do is, and I've talked about this in previous videos, I like to go back in older journals and kind of pick out some things that I liked about those journals. Because I, I sometimes, usually when I create a journal, it's kind of organic. I just kind of 
Um, I don't really have a plan and I just kind of make it as I go with the pockets and tucks and things like that. And so when I'm finished and I sell the journal, I forget what I put in the journal. <laughs> so uh, this particular one I still have available. So I thought I just, I was flipping through and kind of finding some things I liked about it, like this little flip out card here. Um, that I flipped out with some washi tape. I like that element, so I'm going to add that to my um, current journal, something like this, not the same one. And then there were some other things I liked. Um... Oh, I'm going to, I really like this. I put, I made this little uh, bookmark out of some trim that I attached. I'm going to do a uh, like some charms and things like that on the, on the uh, spine of the journal. But this bookmark I made um, using a little safety pin like a bulb safety light bulb light bulb shaped safety pin and I like this look too of having this bookmark in the journal so I'm making another one with um, some butterflies that I think would be pretty too and then I just pulled this out um, I ended up taking a picture of all my cluster embellishments that I've made because again I forget how I did them <laughs> and you know if I get if I sell them then I, I don't remember so I, I I do save them on Instagram but you never know you know if something gets lost or something um you know I want to always have a, a file on hand so what I did was I created a file on my phone of all of my different cluster embellishments that I've made so far just pictures of them and then I can refer back to the file folder um, if I'm looking to kind of get an idea of how to make a quick cluster embellishment or something um, if I'm short on time or if I'm just looking for some some new ideas so um, that's just another little little tip and then um, oh let me show you to what my plan was for my charm so I wasn't going to have a charm on the book and then I don't know I was just kind of going through my uh, beads to actually to see if I should and I might still do this I want to maybe attach some beads to the uh, the strings that are inside my signatures so I was looking for those kind of beads and then I found this little charm that I bought a while ago I think at Hobby Lobby and it's a little tea set just with little uh, macaroons and a little teacup and I thought that would be so cute for this journal so I'm going to find a way to kind of I've just kind of pulled a few little beads and things like that and I'm going to make a quick little charm um not not anything too elaborate but just um just something with some cute little little attachments to it and I'm gonna uh, add that to the journal too so this is really becoming I think one of my favorite journals so um I think I think uh, it's gonna be a something everybody's going to like. So, and I, I like it too. I almost want to keep it for myself, but I think this will be nice um, to put in my shop. It's something a little different. I'm kind of going outside of what I normally do. Although I did, like I said, incorporate some of my little retro, um, like kind of the, the, the uh, ladies, you know, the kind of retro ladies style um, in here, but a lot of it is kind of the cottage style look. Um, so that's, that's the journal. So I've just, I've got everything kind of piled up over here. I've got my, um, my trim box here. This is just a box that I keep all of my, um, different style. This is not vintage trim. This is, uh, my regular trim that I find it, um, you know, Joann's and things like that, or I, I get online. And so I keep that in a, in, in a box here. I have a separate box for my vintage trim so that I can tell the difference between the vintage and the, the regular. But this, I was just pulling some stuff out of here that might kind of look good for the edges of the pages. And then um, I'm trying to think of what else I have been working on. Um, oh, I did do a antique mall uh, visit uh, last week. And I still haven't put this put the stuff away, but I was excited for the things that I found. Um, I always find something. I always think, oh, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna find anything. And I always end up coming out with the the best stuff. Um, this is a box of floral greeting cards that are mostly, I think they're all birthday. And I did not have a lot of birthday cards, so I think I like to put kind of like birthday more upbeat um, vintage cards in my journals. So I was kind of running low on those. So I was excited to find these. They're just, they're uh, just kind of flat cards, but um, they have some nice messages inside and they just be like a nice little addition, um, you know, to, to tuck in the signatures. So I got a lot of those. I like this one, this, 
the sailboat one. I thought that one was pretty. So there was a big box of those. That was a really good, good find. And then I got a few uh, bias tapes, which I like these because uh, the bias tape has the little, it's like a folded ribbon. So what I like about this was, um, or this is, is that you can put it over the edge of a paper pocket just to kind of um, clean off the edges. So you don't have, um, if you want just some fabric on it. So I'll just put some, uh, some tape along the uh, inside of this and then I'll hang it over the pocket if that makes sense. So it just kind of trims the edge of the pocket and um, just kind of makes it look a little bit neater. But um, it was nice to find um, some different colors and things. So I got some white, yellow, and green. And then I found this one. I, I almost put it back, but it wasn't expensive at all. And I just thought it was kind of had some like groovy writing on it. It's um, it just is de designed by me. It's kind of like a, I guess it's a, uh, just a ribbon. But I kind of like the colors and the writing. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to, to put on a future journal I make that's kind of maybe um, more retro inspired. So um, I thought these were kind of interesting too. And then I got some more, this is for next year. I just found some more uh, Halloween paper sacks. We're getting close to Halloween now. I think I have one more um, bunch in my Etsy shop. So I'm going to save these for next year, but I just thought these were, these are always fun to, to keep around and put in um, my Halloween ephemera packs were really popular this year. So those were nice to, to put in there. I made some mini ones and um, those are nice. I think people like just to have a little something um, to add to either a scrapbook or a journal or something like that. Um, I got these cards, which um, I actually discovered that <laughs> These are not retro because I looked on the back and they're from 2002. And um, normally you can find these um, children's card game cards. They're they're older. They're from like the 1950s, I think. Yeah, I think 50s. And um, these, I was I was thinking, oh, I got such a good deal on them. <laughs> and I realized they're actually reproductions, which is fine. Um, but I will probably, I don't know if I'll save these and just use them for like when I have grandchildren or something, I don't know, because <laughs> they're, they're like brand new looking and it's not as fun to have something um, that's super new looking in a journal. You kind of want a little bit of patina on it. So, um, but that's fine. I mean, I think these were like $3 or something for all of these card games. So they'll be nice just to keep um, in my game closet. And I can use them for, for the future. And then, oops, put that off to the side. Then I found this um, pack of, well, actually, let me show you this first. I love a good coaster, and I thought these were great. Um, welcome to our home. I love the squ the square and the scallops on them, too. So there are quite a few. It's not 75 of them, but um, there are quite a few in this pack that are left. And then I actually also liked, um, this is just the, the label on it, um, or it's like a in little insert. And... This could be used for something. I mean, you could use it. So don't um, don't forget about all the packaging within your packaging <laughs> and things like that because um, this is in really good shape and I think that would be fun for just a little piece of ephemera inside a journal. So um, I'll definitely use that. But I like these coasters. They're they're in good shape and um, I, I, again, I like the shape with the little scallops. I came across one time I was shopping and I came across this huge container of uh, round coasters that were like this, um, these kind of felt paper, paper felt coasters. They're, they're like little drink coasters with the plastic on the back. And I was like thinking, oh, this is such a big treasure. I'm so excited to find these. I opened up the container and the musty smell was so terrible. I could not take it. And I was thinking, okay, maybe there's a way to you know, get rid of it outside. But I've already tried that in the past with playing cards that I got one time. So I had to sadly put them back because um, I just, I knew there was no way I was going to be able to use them in a journal. So, um, so, but these are great. These are almost like brand new. So I was excited to find these. So always an adventure when you're, <laughs> you're shopping vintage. 
then I found, um, since Christmas is coming up, I've got some great ideas for some ephemera packs. And I found this set of gift wrap and tags that um, are really going to be great for this season. So um, the, I found these tags on top here. And then the, the gift wrap is really great, too. I like it. It's got a kind of a traditional and then some just some fun patterns, too. So here's some poinsettias and some candles. And then I like this. The Christmas trees. I like that color. And then these are cute too. The little, um, the trains here. And then the little Santas. I thought those were fun too. I think these are probably around like 19 in the eight, These look kind of 80s. So I'm thinking uh, maybe mid 80s, early 80s. Something like that. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to find a year on them. But um, I think these will be great to uh, put in ephemera packs. And then the last thing I found, I was so excited. I never find these anymore. Um, but I was walking and there was a bookshelf and I just kind of, I always like kind of look from side to side as I'm walking. <laughs> and on the bottom, I saw just the side of what looked like a catalog. And I thought, all right, better go look. And it is a fall and winter 1966 JC Penney catalog. And I couldn't believe it. And it's, I mean, it's a little bit, it's just worn a little bit on the cover, but it doesn't have a musty smell or anything. And it is chock full of the best uh, pictures and ads and all kinds of really fun things. So I can't wait. Oh, I just love, like, look at the furniture. The furniture is my favorite. I love the furniture and the bedspreads. I mean, look at that. That's like what your grandmother would call like a Davenport. <laughs> I, in fact, I wonder if the, they even call it that. No, they call, they call it sofa, but um, it looks very like a Davenport. <laughs> so, um, but how fun. And just the colors. I mean, this isn't anything I'd put in my house, but um, I just I just love the nostalgia of it all. So um, these are going to be great for, oh, look at these chairs. I love these so much. Actually, I might have a house full of this furniture. <laughs> and uh, so I, I don't know. It, it, it's just... It's, I just love looking at all these things. So I, I sit, I can sit and grab a cup of coffee and just like flip through the catalog. It's that much fun to look at. So um, this was just, this was like my best find of the day. I was so excited. So I've got some great stuff to work on with that. But in the meantime, I do want to finish up um, my journal. So I'm going to keep working on that. And I think that's pretty much it. I'll put links to the ephemera book. Um, it's, it's uppercase magazine is the, the website. So I'll put links to the, the book as well as the subscription. If you're interested in getting a subscription subscription, I really like the magazine. It's very, very in depth. It's got a lot of interesting articles about design and things like that. So I kind of, I like reading stuff like that sometimes, um, to really get into detail. And it's, um, it also talks about the business side of art and designing as well. So, so it's a really, it's a really good read. Um, but let me know if you have any questions about anything. Um, I've got all kinds of links below. I have my Amazon store now um, that I forget if I had mentioned I have, but um, I kind of switched everything over to an Amazon shop. So, you know, it's easier to kind of like shop for things like my, my uh, adhesive and my favorite um, tapes and stuff like that. So that's all listed in there. And I have uh, card making and junk journaling stuff and things for the craft room, organizational things. So I've got it all nice and organized on the Amazon storefront. I haven't had a chance to make any videos yet in there, but um, eventually I will because I kind of some how-to videos or whatever. So um, so that's that's everything for me today. So let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.